Every member of a certain club volunteers to contribute equally to the purchase of a $60 gift certificate. How many members does the club have? I'm going to use N as the number of members. I'm going to use C as the contribution each one makes to the gift certificate. So N times C equals 60. So right now what we have are two unknowns and only one equation. And we need a little more information to find N. Statement number one tells us each member's contribution is to be $4. So C equals $4. Well, right away, we see that n times 4 equals 60, so n equals 15. So this piece of information leads us directly to solve for the value of n. This statement by itself is sufficient. So now let's ignore statement number 1, focus exclusively on statement number 2. Statement number 2 tells us if five members fail to contribute, the share of each contributing member will increase by $2. And so right now, what we have is that n times c equals 60. But if we have five fewer members, n minus 5, what will happen is that the share will go up by $2, c plus 2. And that will equal 60. Well, notice what we have here now are two equations with two unknowns. Now, we're not actually going to go through all the steps of solving it. That would be a, a nightmare of algebra. We don't need to do all that. All we need to recognize is once you have two equations with two unknowns, you have enough information to solve. So statement number two by itself is sufficient. And again, if all these niceties of algebra are something that are unfamiliar to you in a long time since you've thought about algebra, I highly recommend check out Magoosh.com. Magoosh is an online test prep agency. We have hundreds of videos to prepare you for GMAT math, also hundreds of videos on the verbal side. And especially if it's been a long time since you've thought about math and a lot of these ideas are rusty, it, you probably would be tremendously benefited by watching our videos. So Magoosh.com. Meanwhile, in this particular question, both statements are sufficient, so the answer is D.